Good afternoon. I'm starting up the video on the LeBlond gun drilling machine, gun boring. Uh, it's a 10 foot long gun drilling machine and we're going to go over the operation and functions of the machine. I believe the probably will be doing it in a sequence of two to three videos because I don't want the videos to be too long so I can't send them. Anyway, we'll start over here with the electrical panel. The machine is still wired currently and I turned on the service here as well as the service on the wall. It does apparently appear to be going through three uh, transformers so I'll have to verify what the voltage is for you after. Uh, there's a main start stop switch here and then that once I start that then I can show you some of the different functions of the machine. The uh, machine itself has a large hole through The spindle, and then you know it's limited right now by the size of the chuck. But if the chuck had a larger hole through, then uh, the uh, you could put a larger stock through there. Looks like the hole through the chuck is probably about uh, two inches or so. Uh, the motor is an overhead drive motor with belt drive down to the large gearbox. The gearbox is showing three speed ranges and based on what I see that's what we're going to be getting is uh, low, medium and high speed ranges. The uh, large hydraulic cylinder runs down the center of the V and flat ways and then you can see the cylinder as well as the piston in the cylinder you can see the work support rest there are two of these I will be showing you one of uh, the larger ones after and then your bushing location for your gun drill bushings are here and here this unit uh, you put into position and then uh, the gun drill itself slides there's still some sample of some of the chips that they were taking I think they mainly did uh, steel work here and then We'll uh, stop the video and then we'll come down to the uh, gun drill head.